Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. You're gonna have a great time in the next few minutes hearing from really good strategies from some CEOs and entrepreneurs in Arkansas on the Shrimp Tank, where we teach you how to go from a shrimp to a shark in the business world. Hey everyone, welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I'm your host, Rich Jensen, along with my co-host, David Sims, and our special guest today, Jeff Standridge, of two, well, actually a lot more than that, but we, we talked about two um, uh, entrepreneurial resources. First is the, the Conductor, which is right here in Arkansas, and the other is Cadron Capital. You'll definitely want to listen to the entire podcast to learn about how to access these resources, because... They're free. Well, the capital's not free, okay? <laughs> but the advice and the mentoring and everything else is free. And that's what we try and do here each week on The Shrimp Tank is give you resources and ideas by accessing some of the top business owners, CEOs, and entrepreneurs in and around the state of Arkansas. So that's right. we just finished a great show with Jeff. Yeah, um, had fantastic some good laughs show, and, yeah. Uh, you got to listen to the podcast. You get the bio. You get everything else. You get to learn about these books, best-selling books that Jeff's written. They're fantastic. The Innovator's Field Guide and the Top Performers Field Guide. He has an expertise in uh, entrepreneurial finance and in leadership. Um, but Jeff, share with our viewers the what the Arkansas Conductor is and the kind of access it gives to entrepreneurs and the resources they can access. Sure. There. The Conductor is a public-private partnership between the University of Central Arkansas and Startup Junkie Consulting. Uh, we've been in existence a little over two years, and we really are focused on driving innovation, entrepreneurship, talent development, and uh, economic empowerment. So uh, we have a variety of services that revolve around helping entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, established uh, small business, small medium business owners, help them move their business forward from where they are today to where they mm. want to be. Uh, we have a makerspace as well where we do some product prototyping and do a lot of talent development work with, with uh, folks, what, what we call top of the funnel, help folks who may not know they have an entrepreneurial bent learn about that entrepreneurial bent. One of the things you said on the podcast, too, is that they can just go to the website, click there, get an appointment, and usually you're the one that they first meet with, right? Yeah, so if, they're, if they have an existing uh, uh, business or an entrepreneurial idea, then, yeah, they go to the conductor, arconductor.org, click on schedule a meeting, and it takes them directly to one of our calendars, and they're able to... to Great. Can't get, get any meeting. easier than that, folks. That's right. That's right. <laughs> now, you also teach two courses at UCA. I do. And I thought it was really fascinating. I've never had a professor negotiate or allow me to negotiate my grade with him. So uh, that's of a unique perspective, and uh, it actually teaches them some skills. That's right. So why don't you share with them? Uh, yeah, so I, I'm a pragmatist. I want to teach students how to be successful in the real world. Uh, I've done quite a bit of research into what differentiates top performers from average performers, and, and I want to instill that as part of just the way that I manage the course. And so on the first couple of weeks of class, the students negotiate with me for the grade that they want. I, I of course, established the draft contract. Uh, I convey to them that they've invested $1,000 in the course. They need to earn three to five times that in three to five years. So take that contract. And he con gives them a check at the end. Of the yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> take that con Clarify that. They take that, uh, I started to say they take that check home. They take that contract home. They they mark it up. They, they figure out what they need to do to personalize that learning experience for them. Uh, we sign the contract, and that's the grade they get as long as they fulfill the terms of the contract. If they don't, then they don't get the next lower grade. They go all the way to the bottom of the grading scale. And it's their responsibility to renegotiate with me uh, when when they see that they are at risk of perhaps missing the expectations to which they've agreed. Can they can they bump their grade a little bit by identifying early when they need to renegotiate? Uh, yeah, exactly. The, the earlier they do it, the better. Uh, I have some people who are... You know what, we finished last week, and we had some people that were negotiating into the 11th hour. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. you know, that's okay. We, yeah. all, we all have conflicting priorities occasionally, and so they find themselves in a situation where they've got a pending final where they've got to do great on it. Mm. And they may have to negotiate down on my grade a little bit in order to give them right. some margin for that. I'm okay with that. That's a mm. business decision. You know, and you mentioned you've done a lot of research into it. You have a doctorate in education. I do. And, um, but you also have almost a doctorate based upon your bio and your experience at Axiom with all the mergers and acquisitions and everything else, it's almost, in my mind, you have a doctorate in experience as well. Mm -hmm. So you, you bring the research with the experience into that kind of 
structure of your course, which is was really impressive. And we're going to talk more about that on the next podcast. Great. Yeah, we already decided go. he's coming back. Yeah, we are, yeah. He's, he's already took the he pled the fifth, and he said he's coming back. Yeah, he, took, the he took guess, the point so. on plead the fifth. We got so him on the record. record. I took the we bite. got him on the record. Uh, all right, last question, yep. um, Jeff. You shared that thirty six percent of all thirty six percent of all startups fail because of one mistake. What was that? Share that with our viewers. That mistake is they fall in love with their idea versus falling in love with the problem that they're trying to solve. Um, you know, my experience, and, and this has been borne out uh, multiple times, is that uh, entrepreneurs re- need to really understand the difference between a problem and a, and a nuisance. Mm-hmm. A nuisance people gripe and complain about, uh, a, a real business problem people will pay to have solved. And we mm-hmm. try to help our entrepreneurs figure that out, the difference between the two. Right. Figure Fantastic. that out up front. You're probably going to, you know, then, yeah, right. then get the support Good of the chance. conductor and a few other yeah. folks and you should De-risk be successful. their business. That's, that's what right. we're trying to do. Yeah. Well, Jeff, we want to thank you so much for coming on the podcast today. Um, for those who want to find out more or maybe find out how to get in in the top of the funnel sure. uh, for the conductor, share with them how, what the best way to get a hold of you is. It's very easy. It's uh, www.arconductor.org. That's A-R as in Arkansas, conductor.org. Okay. Great. Well, hey, don't forget to join us network next week to get more wisdom that we're going to pull out of Jeff's brain here. Um, we don't even I didn't even have to remember who we're having on next week because we've already decided. <laughs> Just leave some for me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, until next week, stay safe. Uh, have a great time in your business. Work hard at it. And remember, in the business world, become a shark. We all start out as shrimp.